Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Okay, so today I'm taking a look at a brand new release from Exter, and that's the Exter Modular Secretary. Let's check it out. So the extra modular secretary comes in this black on black box. It's actually pretty nice. So nothing else on the back, just some information right here, but nothing on the side. So, so we take it out, it's another black on black sleeve. Then as I take it out of the sleeve, we get our first look at the extra modular secretary. Now my first impressions of this wallet, taking it out of the box were just how high quality it feels. Now, if you guys are familiar with extra, that shouldn't be any surprise to you. Um, I did do a review on the extra parliament 3.0. This looks and feels just as high quality as that parliament. So the modular secretary comes in three different colors, a caramel, a black, and this color right here, brown. Now these are made of top grain leather and you can tell. So check out the stitching that goes all the way around this wallet here. You can see that and then flip it to the inside right there around where the billfold is and then all the way around where the card slots are. It's pretty nice. In the lower right hand corner you have the extra logo and that's it for the outside. There's no other logos or markings but when I turn it to the inside right here you do have extra stamped right there on the bottom. Now extra says this can hold 12 plus cards in this wallet plus 10 bills here in the billfold. Then they say it also holds coins and I'm going to go over that a little later on when I start testing out the card and cash carrying capabilities. Now as I open it up we have four quick access card slots right here and then one of the coolest most interesting parts of this wallet is this piece right here these card slots they come right out. That's right so if you guys are familiar with the extra secretary that's basically what this is except it's now magnetized and these magnets are pretty darn good so check it out so here's my scale and just slap it right there that's right it's not going anywhere now of course i'm going to talk about this function a little bit later on in this video but if i flip it to the other side there's the extra logo and then one more right here on the bottom right after the secretary is removed and then right here in the actual wallet itself you can see those two magnets right there and then you really don't have to worry about lining it up because as soon as i get it even close to this wallet it just snaps right back into place all right so now let's talk dimensions this wallet is 3.2 inches high and eight inches long when it's opened so obviously that means when it's closed it's four inches long and with no cards or cash stuffed in it at all it's about 0.4 inches thick now extra doesn't really mention how much this weighs so let's test that out right now. All right, so let's tear that out and plop this bad boy on there. All right, so it's 2.2 ounces and that would be 62 grams. So even though this is made of pretty durable top grain leather, it doesn't weigh that much at all. It's actually pretty lightweight. So they claim that 12 plus cards can fit in this wallet, but only recommend nine at a time. Now that's probably because of how thick this wallet will get because it is a bifold. Anytime you have a bifold stuffed with cards like that and you fold it up, it's gonna get pretty darn thick. But if they're saying 12 plus cards, that's obviously two on each slot. So we have one slot here, one slot here, one slot here, one slot here. Then we take out the secretary and of course, two more slots there. So that's six total slots with two cards a piece. So let's try that right now. So we've got 12 cards here. So I'm just gonna take out the magnetic card holder right now and put it to the side and just concentrate on these two slots for right now. Put one card there. One card there, okay. Pretty simple stuff, two cards. And let's put one more on the bottom slot, one more on the top slot. All right, so there's four cards, pretty easy. And fold it up, still pretty darn thin. Now let's put this down for a second. Let's start talking about the magnetic card holder. I'm just gonna start calling it the magnetic secretary because it's what it is. So let's put a card in the front slot here. slot there, turn it around, and whoa, that's pretty tight there. I'm guessing it's because those magnets right there. Get in there, all right. So there we go, there's four in the magnetic secretary. So I'm just gonna try to get one more in each slot, because that's what they say, 12. There's two more, flip it around. I'm gonna do the top first, because that bottom slot is actually really tight. So boom, and then the last one, this makes 12. Oh boy. Okay. Yeah. 
I don't know if I can get another card in there. Hold on. All right, it's just getting caught on those magnets. There we go. All right, so just keep in mind, this slot right here with the magnets, those magnets, they protrude a little bit, so it's gonna get caught on the card. And uh, this is a brand new wallet. I haven't really tried stuffing cards in here yet, so that could be the issue. But just keep in mind when you have this, it might be a little difficult to get these cards in where those magnets are. But here we go, we have eight cards here in the Magnetic Secretary. We have four cards here for a total of 12. And let me slap this bad boy back in there and then boom 12 cards and like i said before you have 12 cards in a bifold it's not going to stay as thin as it is obviously when there's nothing in it it just adds to the thickness like crazy but when they say 12 plus cards can fit in this wallet it just makes me wonder where am i going to put them can i fit more right here do they expect me to put more cards in the billfold or in the card holder here there is a middle area right here where you're supposed to put some cash or coins. So it makes me wonder if I can fit another card in there. So let's just try that right now. So right dead center, I'm gonna pry it open. It's actually really tight. So yeah, uh, yeah. Okay, well, it's in there. But once again, that is extremely tight. It would not be convenient at all to get this card out of here. Actually, jeez. All right, there we go. So there's your 12 plus cards or if you're not a cash carrier, you can load this thing up. You can put cards here on this side. You can put another card here on this side and just keep going. I mean, there's three, yeah, there's four more right here in the billfold. So it all depends on what you guys carry on a daily basis. So I just had one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight cards in here. I fit nine cards in here. That's a ton of cards. All right, so they said 10 plus bills. Right here, I have eight bills. So obviously being a bifold is gonna easily fit eight bills. I mean, without a problem at all. But what I really like about this design here, it has this little thumb slot for your cash. So without having to open up your billfold like this to start thumbing through your cash, as soon as you open up your wallet, you have this super easy little convenient thumb slot right there and start taking out cash. I mean, look at this. You don't have to pry your billfold open at all. I mean, it's just very quickly accessible right here through this thumb slot. So that's one place to store your cash. And like I showed you before, we also have this nice little convenient coin and cash carrying solution right here. So I'm just curious if I fold it in half. Oh yeah, fits in there pretty nice, fold it in half. So I really like this idea because nothing adds more thickness to a wallet than taking a bunch of bills and folded it into quarters like this. So if I fold it into quarters, yeah, it's gonna fit obviously, but it's gonna make it super thick. And let's try thirds. Cause I know a lot of you like to fold your bills into thirds. So it's gonna fit, but it's still gonna be pretty thick. So if all you have to do is just take your bills out and fold it once in half, and these fit in there nicely like this. Yeah, this is a winner. So there you go. There's four cards here, eight bills, and I love this little thing. So why do I think this feature of having a magnetic card holder removable from your wallet is important? Because check this out. So say for example, I'm at work and this happens to me all the time. I only need a few cards and a few bills with me when I'm at work. So I can have my wallet with all my big bills in my main portion and I can still have a couple cards here. Let me just stuff it back in. Then I can have a few small bills right here in the card holder. Slap this back in the wallet, I can have this in my car. And then when I actually have to go to work, I don't like to have a big thick wallet on me. I don't need a lot of cards, I don't need a lot of cash. So just open this up, take this little guy out with all my important cards and bills. Take this, leave it somewhere safe. And then all I have to do is carry around this tiny little minimalistic card holder and I'm good to go. And then when I'm done with it, come back to the main unit. Boom, boom. Yes, I think Extra has a winner with this. Also with this magnetic secretary here, you have one side that is RFID protected and one side that is not. So you can put your building access cards on one side, still be able to use the RFID. And on the other side, you still have your RFID protection. So when it's in your wallet like this, nobody can skim your cards. Now also from Extra, if you guys are worried about losing your wallet, you can also pick up one of their solar tracker cards. So yes, this is solar power and about three hours of charge will last you about two to three months. And yes, this is a Bluetooth tracker. It has about 200 feet of range. So if you do lose your wallet, say for example, I just put this in right here. So if you lose your wallet and this tracker is in here, you can track it from your phone through the Chipolo app. And yes, it is reverse trackable. So if you lose your phone, push that little button right there twice, 
it'll fly on your phone. But I'm not gonna spend too much time on this tracker. I did do a full review when I did the Parliament 3.0 in-depth review of this tracker. So if you guys wanna see that, I'll put a link right above here. But what I do wanna mention is if you do buy this wallet, you can add this at the same time for 29 bucks. And this is normally 49 bucks. So you save $20 if you add it while buying your wallet. And while we're talking about prices, you can pick up the extra modular secretary for $59, which isn't a bad price considering what you're getting here. And if you do look up what the extra secretary costs normally, it's 39 bucks. So for $20 more, you get this, and the whole wallet for $59. And all of Extra's products come with a one year warranty. All right, guys, that's pretty much it for this video. What do you guys think of Exter's modular secretary? So yeah, you have your top grain leather wallet. You have a removable magnetic secretary. Very high quality stuff for 59 bucks. I will leave links down below to the Exter website if you guys wanna check this out for yourself. But if you guys did enjoy this video, please give me that thumbs up. Please subscribe and go.